Hi, I'm Dr. Rudy Cashman. I have a great guest with me here today, and thanks for joining our, our show. I have with us uh, Pastor Karen Staten uh, from the uh, Destiny Lifestyle Center uh, Church. Uh, we've, this is our third program, uh, and, uh, and welcome. Well, thank you, Doctor. We're going to have pleasure. fun here. The last two shows, boy, did we ever have fun. Oh, how a <laughs> pleasure it is to be here with you. <laughs> and what we are speaking about here is really the Daniel Plan. We're trying to bring wellness into the community. It, it, it's not just about diet. It's just about being well, about being you know, well. and involving the whole family. Mm -hmm. uh, in, in this from uh, children to uh, mother and father and the grandpa and grandmother uh, on this wellness path. Uh, to give you a little background, uh, the Reverend Rick Warren, you know, he wrote this great book, The Purpose for Life. Purpose I read for it. And, as he Purpose read it. And, yes, I read it. Yes. Uh, and, uh, and he noticed that uh, when he was uh, baptizing about 500 uh, people, uh, and, and to get under the water in baptism, you yes. know, as well as himself, and he immersion, got up in yeah. uh, immersion, and, <laughs> mm -hmm. and uh, he he realized uh, that uh, they weren't healthy, you know, yeah. that, that they had significant uh, weight problems. So he decided to do something about it. Isn't that wonderful? Oh, that and he has wonderful. this wonderful website we can look at. Mm -hmm. And uh, and uh, Pastor Karen and I, we're trying to promote this in the community, but other. Uh, churches are involved also. Oh yes, we made good friends with Chris Norman. Yes. Um, over the uh, Great uh, Grace uh, Church over in New Grace Haven. Grace Gathering. Grace yes. Gathering and Church. On a, Minic wonder Road is a wonderful uh, a reverend, and he's got two hundred people in already, and he's I think joining us, and we're joining him. Yes, he's going to be coming on the show soon, Doctor. Yeah, today mm -hmm. is Easter, uh, close to Easter. Well, sorry. yeah, this is Holy See, Week. Everybody's yeah, Holy busy. Week, so it's been a little yeah, tough. Yeah, uh, We're going to bring him onto this show to, mm -hmm. to join us in the citywide effort. Effort, yes. Yeah. And indeed. actually, I met uh, a pastor. I think it was God's will at Starbucks uh, two days ago. I'll give you her card. Uh, she, she is uh, from Emmanuel Church up the road on 24. Oh, yeah. A large church. She's interested in joining this. Oh, wonderful. Yeah, so isn't this wonderful if we all band together? Yes. And, and you know what? This yeah. week I talked to uh, uh, Fellowship. Some yeah. people over at Fellowship, they're yeah. doing the Daniel Plan. I think they're yeah. going to be starting in a few days. Yeah. And yes. the more of us, you more know, more joining together. Are, are getting and, this uh, and it's a wellness program. Mm -hmm. And uh, tell us again, the, 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 the uh, Reverend Warren, follow us the five Fs. What, 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 what are they? Faith, of course, number one, which is really a good one because you just need a supernatural power to, to do this kind of thing, to stay yeah. focused and to get this done. You, mm. you can't do it on your own strength. Yes. Uh, and, and that's the wonderful thing about the plan. It, it introduces yeah. faith as your strength to, to get something rather uh, on you, you know, hard and unusually hard to do and done. You're, and you're honoring a God's God. body that he provided for you. Of course. And, it, and it's, uh, he, he gave it to you, and you've got a job to keep it, keep it healthy. Keep it healthy. To keep it healthy. Our bodies are the temple of Christ, the Bible tells us. Yes. You know, do you not know that? He says, do you not know that your bodies are yeah. the temple of Christ? So he gave us these bodies that he can, uh, that they can be vessels by which he can uh, uh, Inch, you know, implement his, his plan. And it's our job plan. to keep our bodies healthy as we can. As, as it healthy. Was, as, as it was uh, given to us. And he gave us a clear mind yeah. so we can make choices mm. yes. and make good food, healthy food choices. So I think the second one, of course, is food, making mm -hmm. good food, healthy yeah. choices. Yeah. And being a lot of conscious. us do not know. A lot of, and, and it wasn't really known in the scientific literature. It's changing all the time, but I think we pretty well know now you know what good food is, mm -hmm. and, uh, and uh, I encourage you to read the book, The Daniel Plan, uh, written uh, by Dr. Amen and, and Dr. Mark Hyman, and uh, also uh, uh, by uh, the Reverend uh, Warren. It's, it's actually the way I've been teaching it. It's no different. I've, I really truly believe that's a great book to read if someone yes. wants to do some, some reading. And look at their website too. I yeah. recommend that. Yes, DanielPlan.com. Yeah, DanielPlan.com. I think mm -hmm. it's a wonderful uh, uh, website. So then we have food and next? Next would be fitness. Ah, fitness. Yeah. fitness. And I'm going to give a little talk on that today. Mm -hmm. uh, and as a matter of fact, probably we'll head for that after that. And then it's then it's uh, focus. Focus. Something you know a lot about as a neurosurgeon. And, uh, yeah, you had to really focus on that <laughs> brain tumor for sometimes 15 hours, uh, whatever, how many hours, you know, th that you had to focus on it. And uh, so, uh, but, but, but if we're going to change ourselves, we've got to focus on the problem. You don't involve the whole family. We're trying to get the whole family, the church, uh, 
a matter of fact, in this Daniel plan, uh, the churches should form, you know, groups of four to ten people or so yes. mm -hmm. and meet in people's homes, mm -hmm. you know. Yes. And, and once a month or so, we'll meet at the public library, like we are, this wonderful place that God provided for us in the county. Yes. And, uh, and it's a wonderful it's place. A great place. And, uh, uh, that we meet once a month and, 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 and with the leaders uh, discuss what we're doing yes. to inform the public. And they have you motivate us. We're yeah. going to need some motivation. And this is this. not That's just for, for six weeks here. This, mm -hmm. this is, is, is a lifetime thing. Well, you know, if you can yeah. do it for those six weeks, yeah. you won't want to stop yeah. doing it. Yeah. Because that's the way I started off. I started off just thinking, eh, okay, yeah. what, you know, what can I harm in a few weeks? But once you really start to feel better and you start to look better, yeah. you actually do make it a lifestyle, a choice. You know, so. I want to give you a compliment, Karen, uh, 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 Pastor, because uh, I know uh, you can see it from looking at her that her, that she's been following the plan for over a month now? Well, yes, over a month, about a month and a half. A month and a half, and yes. you have lost? Uh, uh, 10 pounds. She's lost 10 pounds. <laughs> Just by eating uh, well. Looks like she's been re reborn, and, uh, yeah. and uh, uh, it, it's very, uh, it's, it works. What yes, you're saying it, is it works. Without, it, yes. it's not a diet. It, yeah. It's just changing the type of food. What we've been doing, we've been eating the wrong food, and we'll discuss more of that. And then we have focus, and the last one? Is friends. Is friends. And that's making yeah. it really fun, too, because, yeah. you know, you need friends. We do everything with friends. You know, yeah. we, we eat with friends, we fellowship with friends, and, and it's always good to have someone as a partner to come. So this book yeah. advocates having a cohort, you yeah. know, and doing it together, which really makes it great. Yeah, and announce to a friend, I want to accomplish X. Mm -hmm. Announce it to your children, uh, to a friend, and much more likely that it's going to happen. Accountability. And the, and the hopeful thing is that the friend would join you in it. Yeah. And it gives yeah. you accountability. Yeah. Nothing gets done yeah. if you don't have accountability. You know, yeah. you got to have somebody saying, hey, wait a minute, yeah. are you supposed to be eating that? <laughs> yeah, about once a week I have somebody come up to me, a uh, perfect stranger, perfectly ordinary person, say they've been watching our shows and they have gathered friends in the house that they watch it from 9 to 10. Uh, on Wednesday, it's, you know, it's always about health. Yeah, yeah. that's happened to me two weeks in a row. Oh man, you it, and you it, got. I mean, I jump in the air when they tell me these oh, things man. because that's what I'm working on. And this you is, got so much good stuff on yeah, YouTube and, uh, that and, uh, you just you that know, what, hop what I'm one trying to, the to do. Yeah, yeah they can uh, watch a, a lot of uh, 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 YouTube material, probably 75 shows on there. A tremendous education available um, uh, for for people. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, so, but let's get a little more specific. For a little while, uh, uh, let's speak a little bit about the Daniel plate. You know, it's it's on page seventy nine of his book. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it's it's on there in the in the. Uh, uh, what's your thought on the uh, Daniel plate, Reverend? Uh, this, how do you interpret it? And then I'll give you my thoughts on it. Well, I, I tell you what, uh, the Daniel plate really helped me because now as I eat, I look at that plate and make sure, and I compose that plate to make sure that it it. It's, it's conformed to what I should be having. And it's 50% non-starchy vegetables. So half of your plate is yeah. going to be non-starchy vegetables. That's going to be your broccoli and greens and cauliflower, uh, cauliflower and uh, squashes. Uh, squashes and, uh, and, and celery. Celery. And, yeah. I, I just, just, yeah. just, just for half your plate yeah. vegetables. Yeah. And it's not that difficult to it, go. It's, it's one half and the, that, and the other a uh, quarter of plate. Let's go through the other quarters here. Other quarter is going to be lean protein. Okay. Lean proteins. And, you know, that can be um, uh, beans. Yeah. That could be um, like a piece of chicken that's no bigger than the palm of your hand. Right. And it had, doesn't um, have the covering of the skin on it, so it's yes. not very fatty. I've been baking a lot lately. Yeah. yeah. And, and I uh, uh, bake it, for example. Yes. Uh, and some nuts has protein in it. Yes. Actually, vegetables have a lot of protein and people just don't know it. They think they gotta eat meat. You don't have to eat meat, but we're not against eating some meat. We want you to eat some meat because your blood sugar won't go up, so some lean chicken, some lean turkey. Try to ask, though, that uh, where did the meat come from? If, it, if it's from uh, a, uh, a non-organic farm, for example, they fatten them up and they put them in cages and give them pesticides and herbicides. Uh, you don't want that kind of meat. You mm -hmm. want meat, organic meat, uh, because it has the omega-3, the good fats yeah. in it. Same with fish. You don't want fish from a pond. You want fish from the ocean. Wild caught. Yeah, yeah mm -hmm. wild uh, salmon. 
Uh, and you have to ask the restaurant, the waiter, where's this from? Is this from the ocean? Is this from the pond? Mm -hmm. uh, and you have to be insistent on it, otherwise it won't change. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm sure when the waiters see me come and they, <laughs> you know, because I always <laughs> ask them, but in a friendly manner. I tell you, waiters don't mind at all. If, you know, you treat them nice and ask them, I want a healthy meal, and this is the way what I eat. Yeah. And, I, and, uh, and I've become slowly an expert about it, and, and, uh, and, uh, and they don't say anything. In foods and in restaurants, I'm proving. Yeah. You know, but when you go to a, a, maybe the best, you know, most well-known restaurant in town and they hand you uh, the rolls, nothing but sugar, I mean, and I beg them to put in half black bread or Ezekiel bread, healthy bread. Mm -hmm. But otherwise, that's pure sugar. Mm -hmm. You get that white bread, that's pure sugar, and it's not that healthy. So mm -hmm. we have lean and the proteins. Grocery, and the grocery yeah. stores are selling now yeah. some of the cage-free chicken. Yeah, They're selling that now. I got some yeah. at the grocery store the other yeah. day. It was really great. But you know what I mean? And I noticed the chicken yeah. tastes a little different. Yeah. Better flavor. Yeah. And we have to compliment the grocery stores. Yes. Uh, they will get what we buy. Mm -hmm. You can sit around and criticize fast food restaurants and and, 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 and supermarkets all you want, uh, but if, if, they, if we went to uh, fast food restaurants and demanded uh, uh, bananas and oranges and grapes, guess what they'd have? Oh, bananas, oranges, and grapes. Exactly what they'd <laughs> have. So that's not, you know, as much as I don't want to compliment fast food restaurants, but, but we, we're partly responsible mm -hmm. uh, because of what we're buying. So we're talking about lean proteins, and uh, so I think protein is important. I have egg whites with some Ezekiel bread in the morning, mm -hmm. very healthy uh, breakfast. And then the other quarter of a plate, we have whole grains or starchy vegetables, but they have to be 100% whole grain. Those labels can fool you, so you got you to be careful, okay? You mm -hmm. got to be careful. Mm -hmm. And I make sure it's 100% whole grain because grains, uh, as we, uh, from wheat, for, ex for example, a bit dangerous because they've been genetically modified. Oh, boy. Yeah, and the gluten in them is a protein we're not used to and our bodies reacts to it. Oh, Very yeah. unhealthy. Very so unhealthy. you must, uh, uh, there's a great book out there called Wheat Belly by Davis, a cardiologist. It's good to read. Uh, I don't agree with every word in it, but, but he discusses the history of that very well, mm -hmm. uh, that, that it's been genetically modified. See, our evolutionary body uh, uh, is trying to respond to the genetic information in the food. Food is genetic information. It's revolting against uh, what we're eating. That's mm -hmm. why one out of two people in this area has diabetes, uh, pre-diabetes or diabetes. It's a horrible situation. And that's the reason we're here, do, uh, Pastor, doing what we're doing. Yeah. We're trying to make people healthy, right? And we're learning yeah. food is medicine and medicine is food. Yeah, if exactly. If you eat the right food, you're going to feel a lot better. I've noticed uh, I feel uh, better when I eat better food. It, 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 exactly. And uh, so I, I and, and water is the drink. We don't want to uh, be uh, oh, yeah. I've uh, got my drinking right uh, sodary <laughs> drinks. I've got my water right here. I carry it with uh, me everywhere I, I, I noticed that. Uh, 50 percent, I don't drink as much water yet as I should, mm -hmm. but 50 percent of uh, the health problems are due to sugary drinks, fructose, corn syrup. So mm -hmm. let's uh, get a little more specific on a couple of things I want to talk about uh, a, a little bit. Oh, don't forget low glycemic fruit. That's yeah, low, that. yeah. We it, exactly. We have the glycemic index we spoke about in our other shows mm -hmm. where if you eat some uh, a, a sugary product, how fast does the blood sugar go up? That's the glycemic index, a zero to 100. White bread would be 100 uh, versus a bean would be 30. So you want to stay under 50. You want mm -hmm. to stay after, under 50. Well, I'm learning yeah. you get those are apples. Blackberry, yeah. blueberries, which you just eating yeah. before the show. Yeah. The thing you're getting on that Those nice are soup. low glycemic fruits. Yeah. <laughs> and the reason is, thank you for bringing that up, is that, is that table sugar is 50% glucose. I just went through six lectures this week, not a person knew it. <laughs> wow. Yeah, I don't blame them. Yeah. I blame medical school. I blame our schools, ourselves, for not teaching the patients this. I blame us. And, uh, well, we don't teach so it in the school system We don't see the school system yeah. either. I talked to a senior med student. She didn't know it. Sucrose, table sugar, is 50% glucose. What's the other 50%? I asked him, not a person knew it. That's out of 75 today, 75 the other day. And I don't blame them, okay? Right. But they, but oh, they, oh, yeah. But they were nurses, so it's our fault. It's not, it's not their fault. Uh, and, but the fructose goes to the liver, makes very fatty liver in very low density LDL, which barrows in our arteries and causes vascular disease. Glucose is 20% of the liver, 20% of the brain, the rest in the muscles. So our enemy, our enemy 
is fructose. fructose. Is fructose. And we need to, need to know the fructose content of food. We need to read the labels. Oh, boy. Have I started reading labels. Yeah. Uh, Everything's got it in there, yeah. Doc. It's, it's I know. Stay it's, away from uh, fructose. 60, but food I'm products that get glucose and fructose, and we got to mm -hmm. learn to read labels is important mm -hmm. uh, because in every food, a certain amount of fructose is fine, a certain amount of sugar is fine, but, yeah. but we have to really uh, watch it. Let's kind of get, uh, so we want to constantly repeat that you got to read, you have to read uh, uh, labels. Fat is not the enemy that we thought it was ye years ago. We thought fat was the cause of this. No, it's sugar. It's sugar. And it's a fructose and sugar that's really the worst of the two. Well, I've learned a lot about yeah. sugar since I've been yeah. on this yeah. plan. Yeah, the, the, the chemical formulas are the same. It's just one's an isomer of the other, but the body, body recognizes it differently. But they're twins, C6, H12O6. So fructose being the worst, I just finished writing a book. Pastor, you won't believe the name of it. Uh, fructose, the evil twin. Oh, I like that. Uh, <laughs> that's not a, great, a, not a great title. That is a great title. It'll be out in about a month. Fructose, and, uh, the evil yeah. twin. Let's talk about fitness a little bit today. We're sort of going through the through the uh, book, one of my favorite subjects. Uh, uh, and uh, well, you do a lot of fitness. And uh, you play tennis. I, and what else you do? I always played tennis years ago, even as a busy neurosurgeon, took a walk. But now I have more time. Uh -huh. now, I'll be honest with you. I, two hours a day. Two uh, hours a day. Two, uh, yeah, wow. I don't recommend those. You're, you're, An hour is fine. I take that's a good. I take a half hour five days a week. You know what I mean? But but make it easy. Walking is the easiest Yes, thing. it is. You know I what I like mean? Walking. Take your dog for a walk. Take mm -hmm. your loved one for a walk. And the other thing I recommend is while you're doing it, you know, uh, look at the leaves. Uh, it's mindfulness. Look at the leaves. Look at the animals. Uh, uh, speak to the animals. I speak to the birds. Yes. Now I'm carrying field glasses so I can concentrate on them. That's mindfulness. Yes. And that will quiet your mind. It's relaxing. Yeah. Also, because also I, I try to learn everything that's healthy. Yeah, yeah, I guess a sense of gratitude. Yeah, yeah, the, a sense the of same gratitude. God that made this beautiful body, exactly. you know, made the birds and the trees and all these things for our enjoyment. This morning I got up and went yeah. real early. There was this full moon there, and, and I was listening uh, to the birds anticipating uh, the dawn. Wow! Oh my Isn't God! Isn't that sound awesome? Beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> that sound was five minutes to listen to that. It was so mindful oh, and so yes. relaxing. I yes. bet my blood pressure just dropped to nothing. And, I, and it, it was such a beautiful thing. Yes. So be mindful. Mindfulness is something we don't teach enough. When you're doing the dishes, uh, look at what you're working on. Look at the, the shape of the instruments that you're using. That's mindfulness. Yes. That's relaxing. Yes. When eating food, actually look at the food. I went through the Notre campus a couple of years ago with, with my cousin, and we looked at every tree, every nut tree, we looked at every pretty girl too, uh, and, uh, and and it was it was mindfulness. And yeah. It was so relaxing. Yes. So uh, relaxing. So I like walking, uh, uh, and and it's, it's walking via meditation. If you you know look at things and, and do some tai chi mm -hmm. and qigong uh, uh, movements. And I've been working out uh, uh, an hour every day. Most people wouldn't have the time, but but at uh, Planet Fitness. Why? Because it's cheap. Uh, and and I, I couldn't afford something better. I like that the people who need to work out who normally could not afford it are there. Uh, that's a good thing. And I talked to the owner who, who owns. That's a good thing, Doc. Who, who has five million members in the country. Really? Yes. At $10 a month. At, yeah. And so he told it's me, affordable for everybody. And he told me, you're exactly right. And he, and he uh, told me, says, I look at the 15% who go to another place, which we know, which is very good, but they're already physically fit. This 85% uh, are not physically fit, and they're showing up there because the price is right. Right. And I just love it. I, so, do, I like the fact they got a big sign up there that says, yeah. Judge Free Judgment zone. Free. Judgment Free. We yeah. don't need, and this is yeah. a program, the Judgment Free, and our wellness program is, just, yeah. uh, ju is Judgment uh, Just come free. on in and. What I do is I go in the treadmill. Enjoy. I do a minute real fast, and then a, a minute slower. A minute real fast, slower. So your heart rate goes up and down. It's called intermittent training. Very healthy. Uh -huh. Better than running a triathlon. Then I go on to the elliptical, do the same thing. Then I go on the bike, do the same thing. And then I go lift some weights. And then I recommend highly that you do about five, 10 minutes of core exercises every day because this con controls your back and your, and your bladder and your other stuff down there. And as we get older, we start leaking here and there. And that can be totally avoided or cured by doing the core, core. exercise. Boy, Ask core me is very that happened important. to me. Uh, okay? I do it every day. Core. And, and it's, wow. it's fun. You know, look at YouTube. You can see how it's done, and mm -hmm. it's very simple. And uh, 
and I think it's very important. It takes five, ten minutes. Uh, where you get th this core exercise. Yes. And, uh, and, uh, so and you're pretty, you're pretty fit then. And uh, you're doing at the moment that. I am, and I'm not bragging, but I'm no, doing but you, it. No, you look fit. But I'm, I'm, I'm doing it. You know, 130. <laughs> I could do a little more myself. I'm going to start. The weather's getting better, Doc. I'm going to start 138 a pounds. It doesn't much, much uh, fat on me. And uh, and uh, oh, that's and, amazing. In this intermittent training, I think it's improving my VO2 max. And I, was, I can go longer, and I can go longer. You know what I mean? Yes. So it, it's 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 uh, it's imp important. But uh, if you have no time, yeah, dance, for Pete's sake, dance in the basement. Uh, I was in Dancing with the Stars, and of all things, I couldn't stop dancing after I get all those rehearsals. <laughs> but between surgeries, I noticed I was in the hallway waiting for an x-ray. I'd be dancing. I couldn't believe it. And uh, now in the mornings, while my wife's making breakfast, I'm dancing with the cats and the dogs. Oh, dancing it's a is true great story. I, when I get up, I see them circling around. <laughs> I can't believe it. But so you can make it fun. And when you wake up and it's a god awful day, <laughs> you say to yourself, uh, like the re Reverend uh, Norman Vincent Peale said in Chicago, the famous uh, preacher, uh, was walking out and this uh, black gentleman, the, the limo driver, walked out and it was snowing and raining and icy. It was awful. He says, uh, Isn't this the most god awful, most beautiful day you ever saw? Boy, that's a good habit. Mm -hmm. I've kept it ever since. Mm -hmm. When I see a lousy day, mm -hmm. I used to come out and say it. And you know what happens? My 70 trillion body cells respond to that. Wow. Respond to that. And they feel good instead of feeling bad. Mm -hmm. And then keep, you know, keep God involved. So, yes. And as I said, in it starts uh, with the mind. Yeah, in Philippians 4, uh, don't worry about anything. Instead, pray about uh, mm -hmm. everything. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, I have a rule at home. Yeah. After 9 p.m., we, we can't bring up problems. Mm -hmm. No problems after 9, 9 p.m. Mm -hmm. And in normal Mrs. Peel books, you can read it. I turn them over to God. Yes. I turn them oh, over wow. to God. Awesome. A wonderful habit. Yes. Then you have a good night's sleep. Yes. You can't solve much after 9 p.m. Yeah. You know what Don't I mean? Don't be anxious about anything. Yeah. But with everything, yeah. in prayer and sub yeah. supplication, in, ex uh, a, a, you know, exactly. make your request. And thanksgiving. So a, thanksgiving a, is a part of it. Yeah. Make your request now. A, 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 and, yeah. and give thanks to God. Yeah. for your good health and to God. Oh, and that boy. you're going to honor him by be becoming well That's and presenting exactly a right. healthy body as you can possibly get. Oh, when, what an when you, amazing when you revelation, meet him, doctor. When you meet him uh, in, in heaven. I did the best that I could. Mm -hmm. Instead of eating all this nasty food and, and getting type 2 diabetes and vascular disease and going blind and dialysis, these can be avoided. Mm -hmm. uh, what most people don't realize, uh, speaking to him, and I, I don't understand the reason, frankly, 90% of type 2 diabetes can be stopped and reversed and prevented by eating properly and exercising. Uh, I rarely speak to people that know that. So item number one is we must participate in our health care. But it's our job to teach it to you. And that's what I'm uh, trying to do. And then uh, pray about it to help you. Well, you're doing a good and, job. And, uh, and, uh, so tell us a little bit more about uh, May the 10th when we plan to launch uh, this program of the Daniel Plan. Uh, in the city and other churches that are already doing it to join us. It's not a six-week program. We're going to change people's lifestyle, and we like for them to involve the whole family, children, mother and father, just well, everybody. You hold up our little I'm going to hold up this yeah. poster here. Maybe we could uh, focus in know. on that. Because that. this tells, this is telling you about the what we're endeavoring to do. We just want to get everybody uh, educated Um uh, in, in the Bible says, my people perish because of lack of knowledge. We just want to get you knowledgeable. It, it's what it is. And get I don't knowing. blame nobody. There's no judgment zone. Yeah, what You think do? I always knew this? No. no. I just read about it. When and you I, know more, yeah. you do yeah. more. And you know, yeah. you know better, you do better. So this is an opportunity for us to get educated about just living more healthy and vibrant lifestyles. Yeah. It's not it's a free. diet. It's, it's, we're not charging it's anybody free. anything. Bring a friend. It's and May that. the 10th. It's going to be right here at the library, May the 10th. It's going to be um, at from uh, 11 o'clock until 1 o'clock. Uh, we're going to have some healthy food here. We're going to have some uh, Daniel Plan books. We're going to have some things just to get you started. And we're going to have a cohort so you can join with others and, and uh, have a group in with you doing it. You don't have to do this alone. God's going to be with you. We're going to be with you to help you get started and on a good, healthy lifestyle plan. So uh, we'd like to have you come out. You'll see some of these posters around. It's going to be right here in the library starting off. And then once a month, we're going to come together and have a big motivation session with Dr. Cashman. There's going to be some healthy food there. And I think you'll really enjoy it. Let's, uh, let's get healthy. 
uh, let's let's create memories by living a little longer, and by the, eating a little better, and the, making good choices. The pastor, those are uh, uh, wonderful words, and uh, and I think we can get the job done. I think so too. You know, too. because you, you've got a whole uh, list of pastors uh, joining you. Yes, I do. And, uh, the uh, yeah. the uh, Women Al Minister Alliance of Fourth Wayne. They're yeah. sponsoring this and coming along board to help as well, make, get yeah. the message out yeah. uh, to change the community. Right. Let's see if we can make a, a small impact even on the community to live better. I think it, uh, it could be huge uh, because like I said, one in two people in this area, all over the world, to be honest with you, mm -hmm. Mexico is even worse, uh, have uh, uh, diabetes, uh, either pre-diabetes or diabetes, and what's, what do you get from that? strokes, heart attacks, blindness, amputations. We can avoid all that. Mm -hmm. And this, this is the purpose. Uh, uh, and and uh, sometimes the whole family is involved. We have children involved. A lot of uh, children who, who are getting uh, di diabetes uh, now. That's uh, very and, early. And, and, and very early. Mm -hmm. Vascular disease, uh, if you don't eat properly, uh, what people don't realize starts at age two. Wow. Yeah. That was proved in the Begalusa study uh, by a pediatrician, Dr. Atwood. Two. Yeah, wow. published a book. Any child that died, they did an autopsy and found fatty streaks starting at age two. A lot of teenagers have advanced uh, uh, vasculitis. So uh, in summary, uh, Pastor, we're going to launch this Daniel Payne on the 10th. We're going to continue the show uh, discussing, always in more detail. Yes. Uh, uh, like we did today, we mm -hmm. s uh, spoke uh, about uh, stress and, and uh, uh, exercise uh, a little bit. Uh, the next show, uh, we'll keep a little mystery here. We're going to speak about sitting disease. What's Sit that? Sitting never disease. Never meet anybody who knows what I've that is. I've never heard of sitting Interesting. disease. Interesting. Next show, we're going to, uh, in the Daniel Pan, we're going to speak about sitting disease. a little mystery here. Wow. Yeah. Sitting disease. Wow. Yeah, what, what, what's that? I think I know yeah. a few yeah. people that also call it. <laughs> It's also called NEAT, non-exercise, non-exercise uh, non thermogenics. Oh. Yeah. yeah. And, but interesting. Nothing complex. Very simple. Very simple. Yeah. Well, yeah. it's nothing that yeah. walking won't hurt, yeah. will it? No, no. That's part of it. That, that's, that's, that's part of it. Is it really? Yeah. Oh, good, yeah. good. So uh, we'll see you on May the 10th. And I don't think we'll probably have a show between now and then. Or oh, yeah. I think and we will. Yeah. We will more? Okay. Looking forward to having and, uh, you and, uh, us. And this, this will be shown at 7 p.m. on Monday night. Generally? Yes, generally, yeah, yes. Yeah, 7 p.m. on Monday night. You can check the schedule. You can check the uh, mm -hmm. uh, uh, schedule in my mm -hmm. regular show, 9 to 10, Wednesday nights. Wednesday nights, yeah. Always I try not to miss that. Always such good uh, information. Yeah, now. you've you've soaked up the information. I know. Uh, <laughs> I'm a disciple now. Pretty soon Boy, it'll be a rainy day, and I'll say, Karen, you do, my, you do yeah, my show. I always send you a little text. Uh, say, yeah, thanks so much it. for watching. We yes. love you all, Reverend. Good to, good to, Thank good you. to see you again. Thank you. And, uh, and uh, we see you all uh, soon. Uh, thank you, God, for helping us. Thank you. Thank you for helping us make better choices.